Okay. I did not post this. Let me see if I can see without these. So I am sitting here. I can't see my camera. It's blurry. Is this what happens when you turn 50? Um, things go to she crap. I don't know. I want to say in the last two months, my eyes have been jacked up. I'm serious, jacked up. Well, I did not announce that I was going to do a live. It's kind of spontaneous with me because I never know my schedule. I did get off a little early today, which was nice. Um, for all that you people that don't know, I work for the blood bank, um, our local blood bank, LifeServe Blood Center. I've been there oh, almost 11 years. And anyways, so that's what I do. I draw blood and I love it. Well, I'm going to record this. Um, you may not be able to watch the live, but you'll be able to preview the after stuff. So what I wanted to show you guys was, or is, this color play box. Color Street offers this monthly subscription that you can get, and it's $30, plus tax, free shipping, and what you get are four to five packs of strips, which are, um, you would get two manicures out of each pack. These are exclusive and they do not, so they don't sell it to the general public. These are just people that, the people that subscribe to this box get it. So you are like the special. They also throw in an extra special treat with that. You like this November box. This was my very first box here. Um, I know it's backwards. I'm sorry. I'm not sure how to get that the other way unless I turn my camera around. So the color play box is shipped to you for $30 every month on the second. If you want to suspend it, they will do that. But this gives you quite a few um, options. It gives you a little pamphlet in there showing you how to apply the nails, how to mix the nails to get different, um, you know, just fun, fun stuff. And so I'm going to go ahead and open it and I'm going to show you what I got. So I did use one of them out of here. So uh, what I can say is on my fingers right now, this is a brown. Uh, this is, let me see if I can, ooh, the one that I'm using, I shared it with one of my girlfriends. Uh, this is called Fair Fawn and it's a brown ombre. Isn't that beautiful? So... That's what I use. That's what I have on right now. I figured I'd put it on for Thanksgiving, the fall colors. So this came in the subscription box. So that is only for people that subscribe to the subscription box. Considered exclusive. Here's another one that was put in there. Look at how pretty these are. Very dainty. Now you can take one of those and overlay these leaves on top of this and the leaves will show up probably the lighter leaves uh, this is called prairie picnic and this is also exclusive so this came with the pack now there's two strips of eight so that's 16 strips that you get in here so one of these strips will do a whole manicure so you get two manicures out of this package but you got to remember to make sure that you close this up you either heat seal it um, or I was just told this the other day you can put it in your freezer and you don't have to actually heat seal it just put it in your freezer and when you're ready to use it take it back out and they'll be just good as new so that is actually a pretty cool thing that we can do with these so I just wanted to give you guys a little update on this fun thing that Color Street does for us this is another one that I got it's called Blue Dove it's really pretty. It's kind of a grayish blue. Again, you get two sets. So there's two eight pack or eight strips here and you'll get two manicures. Isn't that pretty? It's kind of a bluish gray color and it's 
ombre-ish. Now, again, you can take those leaves. If you took those leaves, you can overlay that leaf over one of these, and gosh, that'll make that pop. So the background of the leaves are clear. So you can either just apply them to your fingernail and you'll have the leaf by itself, or take that leaf, put it over a solid color or a semi-solid color, and you'll just be able to bling that, bling that up. All right, I'll show you another one. So I got five sets in this one. Sometimes I guess we get four. So this is my very first one. So I got five in this one. Uh, this is a fun one. Bohemian Beauty. This is a glitter. And this also can be used by itself. Or you can also, can you see that? Uh, put that over like a solid color just to bling that up. Give it a little glitter. Isn't that cool? So you also get 16 pieces in here. And then last but not least on the strips, look at this awesome one. This is called Feather Dream. I'm going to show you that. Look at how beautiful those colors are. Aren't those cool? I can't wait to use those. So, you know what? You can share these with somebody. You can get two, like I said, two manicures out of these. Or you can put them in the freezer or heat seal them so no air gets in them and dries them out. But I got five of these packs. So, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with all of them. I may wind up just selling them. Uh, not sure. And then this is the freebie that came with it. I may try to open this. It is the Color Play... Oh, gosh, I can't see it. They're little, like, um, blingy things that you put on your nails. You just take a little strip, like, right here, and you lay it over, and it just gives you that extra little bling. Can you see that? Aren't those cool? So these are $10 on the website by themselves. So Color Street threw in this pack for free. So I got all five packs plus this for $30, and I believe the retail would have been about $80. Um, so this is called the Rustic Heritage for November, and it just gives you a layout what of each color is and how you can combine them. So it shows it right there, like you, kind of a recipe. You can take, see that glitter up there? And then you could put it over that fawn color that I got. But yeah, so it's a pretty, pretty cool subscription. It gives you a little nail file, a little one of these packs to clean your fingernails. Other than that, uh, if you want to take advantage, you can go to my website and sign up. Like I said, it's a monthly subscription. Who wouldn't want something fun to come in the mail? Um, I do have a bunch of packs that I could sell if you guys want. Um, you can hit me up. I could do another live, but I have some really fun stuff. I'll just show you, give you a quick peek. Look at how cute this is. That is a gnome accent finger. So you have, there's two gnomes, one on the top, one on the bottom, top, oh, top, bottom. So you would take that and you would get one gnome on one finger and then flip it around and get the other gnome on the other finger. So this will do each finger, like your accent fingers. So I have three of these. So if you'd like one, let me know. I believe these were $6 for this, and I can mail that out to you. Um, I just, I'm just going to show you a couple of these really cool Christmas ones. This is, um, let me see the name of this one, Light It Up. Look at how cute that is. They're Christmas lights. Pretty cute, huh? So each pack again, you get two strips. This will do two manicures and it gives you a little cleaning pad for your nails and also, hey Hope. Um, what does it do? Oh, gives you a little fingernail file. Hope, look at this one. I love that. Isn't that cute? Yeah, I just thought I'd go online and have a little fun. I'm thinking about trying to just sell these like I did my paparazzi. 
Um, so every now and then I'll have a live. I don't have too many of these. I have about 20 packs. So they are up for grabs and I can ship them out. You can Venmo me the money if you want. But this is the, the blue Christmas one, which is really super cute. I'm trying to get up real close. See how cute that is? This is Snow Wonder. Did you see this one, Hope? I don't know if you saw that one. The gnomes. Isn't that super cute? Those are accent fingers. So what I would do, either I would put a strip of a red solid or a green solid on my fingernails and then do one gnome on one finger. Oh, you got these. Yeah, I love these. These are my favorite. I'm going to keep one pack for myself so I can put them on for Christmas. Love them. You want them. Well, let me know what you mean because I see I got those. I'm not sure. Oh, you got these. I'm pretty sure you got these. I think. Let me know. Um, or the blue ones. I got the blue ones. This is, let me see. Have you put them on yet, Hope? I just put some on a friend, yes, you know, two days ago, and she wore them to a wedding. They went well with what she was wearing. And then when she, she works for a school district, and when she went to the school today, the girls were like, oh, you did your nails. Where'd you do those at? And so I gave her a couple samples so she can take. So I'm hoping that, um... Maybe I'll get some new customers. I'm going to show you. Oh, here's the other blue Christmas one. This is blue holiday. Now you can put this over any color or you can put them by themselves. But this is a sparkly. Now, I am a big, big fan of the glitter. Totally a big fan of the glitter. And the glitter really hides any little flaws that you may do. Um because maybe you're new at doing this because my first couple times when I put them on I kind of got a little crease and I sit sat there and tried to rub them out rub them out but uh yeah they turn out fine and I've even ripped them by accident and kind of pieced it together you can't even hardly tell especially if you put a top coat on it it kind of seals that up and to let you know holy cow okay this top coat that Color Street sells, it's going on sale um, on the 22nd to the 24th. Right now it's $12. If you go online during that Black Friday special, everything's 25% off. So then it goes down to $9. Then your packs are going to be buy one, get one free. So right now when you go online, if you buy three, you get one free. But now for the Black Friday sale, yeah, buy one, get one free. So I'm definitely going to take advantage of that. I don't get discounts. I get free product, which I could turn around and sell. But I love this product. And everything that I've been buying, I'm like, ooh, ooh, I want to keep that. Ooh, I want to keep that. So I'm going to have to be changing my nail polish often. And Hope, if you're wondering, yes, I'm a freaking squirrel. Um, I have all my crafts. If I panned my video, you would see my heat press and all my uh, my closet. I know you're crazy like I am. So you know what I mean. Um, yeah. So anyways, I just wanted to show you some of my stuff. Uh, let's see. I just was wondering if I had... I was looking through my bag because I have some other fun colors. This one is Aquatic Behavior. This doesn't justify the color, I know, um, but it's a blue, shiny blue, kind of a metallic. Let's see, I'll pull back a little bit and see if you could see that. Can you see that? Isn't that cool? I'm always up for the... the uh, the glitter I love glitter so I'm not going to show you more glitter more glitter glitter that one's pretty this is a red I think it's coming in oh it says rose gold but you can use that by itself or you can also put that over a solid color you could also paint your nails if you don't want to use all the color street but you just want a more for accents you can paint them 
You can do, if you go to the salon, you can shellac them and then use these over the top. That'll just strengthen your nail even more. And then add a top coat if you want to make it last a little longer. These have already been on almost a week. And look at the tips. If you can see, I know it's kind of hard to see, but if you can see the tips, they are hardly touched at all, hardly chipped. These things are bad sorry but they are and like today when I got home I had to plant some garlic so I'm digging in the dirt literally digging in the dirt and it did not do a single thing to these puppies they are like on until I take that soak them in nail polish remover and they are set yep so I love these they're so easy so easy and you will get good at it oh look at this one hope I loved this one. They're the cat ones and they're still on there. I love these. So me and another gal opened this pack and she bought half of it and I took the other half. So these also are a clear background here. So you can either put it on clear or you can stick this on any color you want. So I can put this on here and that little kitty cat will sit right on the bottom of my nail bed. Isn't that super cute? I love it. But those were the Halloween ones. Jamie. Jamie never gets to see me. I never get to see Jamie. I'm always too busy, huh, Jamie? Jamie. People are going to think I'm crazy. Did you guys see the funky video that I did the other day? Out of the blue. Hi, Jamie. I miss you. Um, out of the blue, I'm driving to Yankton, South Dakota. God, I wish I could talk to you guys on this thing. Maybe I go, I'll get better. Um, I don't know. I want to do more lives. Hayden, my son, was showing me how to, uh, to do these lives. And he wants to get into streaming and live YouTubing. And, oh my God, there's a lot of shit. But there's my squirrel moment. Anywho, I'm driving to Yankton. And all of a sudden, I'm jamming onto music. And I, it feels like somebody's fed me 10 Adderall. And I just like start recording myself. Hey, Brianne, I want to YouTube. Um, yeah, let's YouTube together. You guys got to watch it. It's the dumbest thing. But yeah, that was my brain. And then I'm like, no, 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 not YouTube. TikTok. Yeah, TikTok. Yeah. What a squirrel I am. I don't know if I'm the only one like that. Yes, I know I mean TikTok, but I was just informed that you have to have a thousand followers before you can actually record on TikTok. How am I supposed to get followers if I can't record? Now I can send, I think I could send this video over somehow to TikTok and then I can maybe get followers that way. I was hoping no, I am not the only one, Jamie. There has to be other crazy people out there, I'm telling you. I'm going to... Okay, one of the girls at work wants to do this podcast for women over 40. And it's Jill, Amy, and I. And yeah, so it's Jill, Amy, and I. And thank you, Hope. Are you laughing at me or laughing with me? <laughs> um... We want to do this po po podcast for women over 40 and all the shit we go through. I know I probably shouldn't cuss, but you know, it's, that's just me. I'm just being me. Thank you, Hope. Anyways, yeah, I want to talk about the most disgusting things about us women that we're afraid to talk about. I want to do my crafts. This is okay. This is my head right now, Hope and Jamie. And Brie and my lovely daughter is actually watching me. Are you with that guy, Brianne? Brianne has a friend, and I call him that guy. And he actually likes it. Did I clean my crap room? My crap room is clean. Thank you very much. I meant crap room. But anyways, my lovely daughter. Okay, here's my squirrel moment, guys. Back to what I was saying. I want to do this podcast with the girls and I want, cause we're going to have people call in 
and ask us questions. And we want to talk about sex. We want to talk about fingernails. We want to talk about menopause, premenopause, um, crafting. Craft rooms are always clean and organized. You got it. You know what? That's a, it's crafting. You know, it's organized chaos. That's what it is. Organized chaos, isn't it, Hope? Yeah. So anyways, I want to be able to hear you. So if I can podcast, then I can hear you and hopefully I can see you. And then we can all talk and we can all laugh and we can make it a cool thing. And we can, if you're a wine drinker, a pop drinker, a beer drinker, a hard liquor drinker, let's sip it up, baby. <laughs> Jamie, you were mean. Stop it. Anyways, so... What do you think about that podcasting? Do you think that would be something funky? I know there's women out there. There's um, a group that I've heard of that there were four women that come in and they actually talk about um, crime scenes. That would be cool. But I don't know anything about crime scenes. I'm not in the police detective things. That is cool. But I want to talk about personal things, whether it's relationships just how we feel internally. Like, I know I'm a squirrel. I know there's so many people out there like me. Um, I need to do it, Brianne. I know. Wouldn't it be fun with Jamie? I mean, uh, with Jill and Amy. Can you imagine the three of us? Okay, you know Jill's mouth. Holy cow. She would be so fun to do that. But then I'd have my squirrel moments and I'm like, hey guys, look at the color street colors. Look at that beautiful holiday red sparkling. Okay, Jill, what'd you do today? Yeah, I, you know, that's just me. So it's like, er, right turn, left turn, up, down, all around. Anyways, yeah, I'm going to post this and people are going to go, what the hell? Yeah, brain cells will be fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they will be fighting. I know. I'm just imagining you guys talking to me and I can hear your voices. I got voices in my head. I've been waking up in the middle of the night. I've been having these crazy dreams, like very vivid. And I wake up and they bother me. I mean, they're good. They're funny, some of them. But most of them are downright disgusting, like gory. Probably all the bad things I watch. But anyways, toots. That was my thing. I just wish I could talk to you guys. Um, this was supposed to be about Color Street. But no, I go off to my squirrel moments. What drugs am I taking? I'm not. Oh, well, I take that back. I do take seven of them, Jamie. Every morning. When I remember. Oh, there's an 800 caller coming. Do you think that's a, like a, hi, my name is Cheryl. I'm going to stop them from calling me. It's probably spam. And not the spam you eat. The spam callers. Yeah, see, spam. Jamie's with me. Spam. Who likes spam? Like edible spam. It's actually not too bad. Not something I would eat on a uh, weekly or monthly basis, but it's not bad. So we have a little phone call. We should all call each other and have like a four-way talk. You want to do that? <laughs> I know. It is kind of gross, huh? But it isn't bad if you fry it up and put it with an egg. It really isn't. If you like chop it up in little squirrels, squirrels, little squirrels and eat it with some eggs and some salsa. Actually, it tastes like ham. Spam. Man. Guess what? The nut doesn't too fall far from the tree. Is there a way, do you guys know how I can actually hear you guys and converse? Do I have to do like a podcast or what do I have to do to be able to talk to multiple people and, and do that? Anybody smart on that? Because I'm not. I am going to... YouTube it? I don't know. I have a 
video maker for dummies or something. So maybe that'll give me some hints. Hayden has a microphone, so I can put a microphone here. Maybe I can use my phone, my monitor, my whatever. Phone call on Messenger. Yeah, go on Messenger and make a group. Oh, can we record it too and put it on? Or is that just more of a private thing between whoever's on it? Make a group on Messenger. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to have to figure this thing out. Private. Oh, it's private. But I can put like four people on it or five or however many. You could probably do Skype. Okay. Yeah, because it's really odd not being able to hear people and, and you're just kind of, you know, imagining what they look like when they're talking to you and... And uh, I know how your guys' voice sound, I remember. Not like I'm that dumb and old. Anyone in the group. Yeah. So what did you think about those nails? I am struggling this month to have sales, but I'm not quite sure. I don't have like a lot of product. And I'm okay with that, it's just the beginning. You know what, times are hard. I, I'm not expecting to become a millionaire on this or not even, you know, remotely wealthy. But it is fun. It is fun. I really do stand by this product. And I've actually saved myself quite a bit of money not going and getting manicures every month. Uh, if I keep buying these things and not selling them and keeping them all, no, I'm not going to save any money. Remember, Xmas people are spending for that yes I know but these make good stocking stuffers if you have teens or anybody that you know that likes to do their nails I don't know I think it's kind of cool but there's some fun colors Brianne and Jamie oh Brianne got off but I know is it Mel that sells these too she's going to get mad that I did not go underneath her Yep. Friday. I'm going to look it up again. I think it's the 22nd through the 24th, the Black Friday sale. You can go on my website and it's a buy one, get one free. And 25% off a lot of the makeup, which I don't, I have a couple pieces of their makeup. Um, this is their lip balm. Let me show you. It is really pretty. It's um, tinted like a light pink, but kind of a see-through, opaque -y color. But... Oh my God, these, this goes on really smooth. I, I love it. I do. It's a little spendy, but I'm a lip person. I do like lip gloss and lip balms. And so I think they're normally 19 and I think with the 25% off, they go down to 14. I'm not doing my math right. I don't know, either 12 or 14. I think I saw. I put a little description on my website. But anyways. No, I had another friend who sells them. Oh, I thought it was Melanie. Yeah, I can't remember. I bought some from her a while back. And I did like them. And I bought some from Sherry. That's who I met first. Was a gal named Sherry. And uh, she introduced me to these and wasn't pushy at all never you know asked me to really become a, a sales gal i mean oh yeah she did she she sent me some information but wasn't pushy on it at all and i just pulled the trigger myself because i really like it but hope i want to do some craft shows some vendor shows and i don't know where to start with all my crafts i was going to make some cups but i don't want to pre-make them because everywhere i've gone Everybody has these pre-made cups and then you have all these cups sitting and what if somebody doesn't want that theme that you put on? So I was thinking about, if I could, take my blank cups, take, take my heat press, take my computer, my printer, set it all up, lay some designs down, have them pick a design and if they want their name on it, I can crop their name in it and then he heat it and do it right then and there. 
Do you think that would go over better than having them already pre-made? So that was kind of my make my gnomes. I know, I love my gnomes too. See, there's another thing. Yeah, I really thought about that because I went to the craft fair yesterday and there was three people that had cups. And she had a bunch of Halloween, like probably 15 Halloween cups sitting there. Well, Halloween's passed. Now she dropped her price down to 15 and nobody was grabbing them. And then she had some Christmas ones and then she had some regular ones and you need to go to the internet. Yeah, I know I need to go on the internet. I was hoping maybe I can like become a YouTube tuber or no, TikTok. I don't know, one of those or both of them. But I want to do that. But I mean, I don't want to go like extreme. I just want to see if people will go onto my website and purchase. And so I don't know. We'll see. Well, I should probably cut it short. I know I'm talking your guys' ear off. My two friends. My two friends that are in California. Is it sunny out there? It's like. 40, 39 degrees out here right now. 42, maybe 42. Yeah. Well, thanks, guys. I'm going to finish up here. I love you both. Thank you, Brian. I know you're not on, but thanks for coming in. Um, so I'm going to post this. Yeah, they're going to go, what the heck? This is not all about Color Street. They're just going to see how squirrely I am. Sunny and cold. Well, at least it's sunny. Not windy, though. You don't have that desert wind. Never could do your hair out there because it just blows. I know I talked to I talked to Donnie the other day, and I said, Dude, I hope you're, like, saving your money and putting it away for that house. And he actually uh, said that he was putting it into his 401k and just working his butt off. So I'm so proud of him. You got some good boys. Well, I'm hoping that I can make a trip out there next year. I'd like to see both of you. So spend some time way, way, way overdue. Or hey, you can come my way. Uh, with the price of traveling, oh my God, nobody's going to be able to go anywhere those plane tickets and gas. Gas is kind of coming down, but wear and tear on your car. Um, crazy. Yeah, I know. Don't hold your breath, Jamie. You know, I still love you. And I don't want you turning blue, so don't hold your breath. Yes, Hope, I need you to come out here. That way you can visit your sons, you can visit me. And yeah, we have a good old time. Or just sit and relax, or sit and craft, or whatever our little hearts desire. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna go. Oh, there was one more person on, but I don't know who it is. Who's that third person that came on? Surprise! You'll have to go back and see this boys are going to can oh they're going to Kansas like they're going to work in Kansas or they're going to take a, a bit of job in Kansas hmm I really wanted them to come out for Christmas but I don't know if they're going to be able to ah uh, well you know what that'll make a good trip to go to Kansas and we'll go catch a Kansas City Chiefs game because I'm a Chief fan what do you think about that? You want to go to a Kansas City game? Kansas City Raiders. Maybe they'll have one of those. Are you a Raiders fan? I do like the Raiders. I can't quite see who that third person is. You guys follow football? I like football. Not till January, February. Yeah, I remember Donnie texting me and saying that he took another bid. And it was like a nine or 10 month bid. Well, good for them. And I thought Tim was going to stay in California, but he says, nope, they work together. They stay together and they go together. And I'm like, good boys. No football. Hope I'm going to get you into football. Let's go. We're going to go root for the Kansas City. And Raiders.
That's what we'll do. We'll take the boys out and go catch a football game. How about that? Root beer. I can only drink a little because then it starts like hurting my stomach. All right, peeps. I'm going to go. I love you. I'm going to go eat dinner. Goodbye. Thanks for coming on. Green Bay. Yes, Green Bay Packers. Here. Craig, remember Craig, had a big old cheese head back in the day and a big fluffy, pump, puffy Green Bay jacket. Yeah, he was a Green Bay. I don't know if he still is, but anyways. Okay, peace out. Color street all the way. Craft all the way. Be squirrely. I love you. I love you, Hope. Love you, Jamie. I'll talk to you later.